Hello and welcome, everyone. Today, I want to share with you another landscape painting that I made. For this painting, I'm using an A by 10 inch hot press watercolor paper that I tape on a board with washi tape. I'm doing this because I like to have clean white borders around my painting. Also, I use poster color paint for this painting, and the art supply list will be in this video's description if you want to take a look. Here is a thumbnail sketch that I made before I started this painting. I usually do quick thumbnail sketches to figure out the composition, lights and color for the painting. And this make my process go easier and I can stay on track with my ideas while I paint. As always, I start with the line sketch using a round brush and burnt sienna. First, I draw a horizontal line to divide the landscape into two parts. Then, I add a bush on the right side. Behind the bush, I add a few trees. Then, I add some grass and plants for the surroundings. Here, I'm mixing a light blue color for the sky using white and blue. I decided to use the wet into wet technique for the first layers of this painting. So I'm going to add clean water to my paper. And you can see that the water activates the burnt sienna that I used for the light sketch. And this makes the lights blurry. But I'm not worried because I will paint over this layer. While the paper is still wet, I'm adding blue paint for the sky. I want a really light blue, so I add white paint in with the blue and blend them together. I can only do this while the paper is still wet. Next, I'm adding a light green color around the blue sky that I just painted. Then I mix a dark cool green to paint the bush on my right side. And you can see that the paint spreads out kind of similar to watercolor when you use the wet into wet technique. And I'm continue adding different greens to cover the whole painting with these base layers. When the first layer of paint has dried, I'm moving on to the second layer and I add the big shapes of greens to represent different areas of greenery. For this step, I focus on adding the right colors and values of each area that I'm painting. Now I'm switching to a round brush and I paint the trees. For the first layer of the trees, I'm using a light brown color that I mix from white and burnt sienna. Then I mix a dark brown color to paint the shadow part of the trees. Because the sunlight is coming from the right side, the shadow will be on the left. At this point, the trees are not done yet, but I need to wait for the paint to dry before I can add more layers to them. So I'm going to paint the grass below the trees, and I'm using a medium green for now. And I add a lighter green for the grass that is getting the sunlight. Now that the paint on the trees has dried, I'm going back and I add a light brown for the highlights on the tree trunks. This is where the sunlight is shining on the, the trees. Here, I'm adding a very light green for the highlight of the grass. This green is so light, it almost looks like white. 
because this area is getting lots of sunlight. Next, I'm adding another layer of dark green for the grass below the trees. This is the shadow part of the grass. Moving on, I'm adding the branches for the trees using a dark brown color and a round brush. So this is the step where I start adding details for my painting. Then I use a light brown color to paint the highlights on the tree branches. I also add the light green for the highlights of the bush and other plants. And now I'm adding some wildflowers to the painting. These are white and small flowers, so I carefully paint them using just the small tip of my brush. And I also add some small yellow flowers. Then I use a liner brush to paint the tone grass with different shades of green. Next, I paint the details for the flower bush in the lower right corner starting with a dark green color. Then I slowly build up more layers of green leaves for the bush. While waiting for the paint to dry, I also add more grass for the foreground with a liner brush. When the paint on the bush dry, I add the purple flowers on top. So added a few small purple flowers to the mix of the wild flowers. And then I add more yellow flowers to the foreground of the landscape.
Next, I add more highlights for the grass behind the trees. And now the painting is done. I waited for the paint to dry before I remove all the washi tape around it. Here is a closer look of the painting without the tape and here is a quick thumbnail sketch that I made before. It's interesting to see the transformation and I'm really happy with the final painting. I also learned a lot from the painting process so I hope that you enjoy this video and find it helpful in some way. If you would like to see a longer video or paint this painting with me, I have it available for you on my channel. I will put the links in the description for you if you want to check it out. Also, I have prints of this painting available online. So if you would like to have them or want to support my work, you can find them through the links that I put in the description below. Let me know if you have any questions or comments for me. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye.